You would think I'm used to this by now, but every year I get a little bit more uh, nervous. Let me, let me tell you something. The first year we had this, we had about 50 participants. I was just told inside 291. I hope someday that, you know, we'll come out here for a different reason. You know, that they'll find a cure for, uh, you know, for, for cancer. With that, I'd like to uh, have Andrew Steiniger from the Brooklyn Borough President's Office say a few words, please. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Good. We got lucky today. This is the most beautiful of days, and it's really a testimony to um, us getting lucky, but really, this is a great reason to be here today. Dan's done a great job organizing this event, and I could think of nothing better than to gather people together in memory of uh, two wonderful people, and that's why the Borough President, Marty Markowitz, sent me here today with a proclamation. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but he does, if you know Marty, he does proclaim this day, September 19, 2009, the seventh annual Dan Foster 5K Run Fun Run Walk Day in Brooklyn, USA. So this one's for you, Dan. Thank you on behalf of all of Brooklyn. And thank you to all you runners for what you're doing here today. Dan, hold it up. Oh, got a little proclamation malfunction here. No malfunctions today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'd like to introduce Tamara Ellen from the American Cancer Society. Tamara. Thank you. Good morning, Garrison Beach. So happy to see you all out here this morning, and we are so happy and grateful to have your support. I know this is the seventh year that your community has been joining together to fight cancer, and I want you to know that every dollar you raise makes a huge difference to the families fighting this disease. So thank you so much for being here today. I want to thank the families of Melissa Marchese and Michelle Cooper uh, for sharing their stories with us so that we could all be here today in, in memory um, of, of the, their loss. Uh, I would like to thank Dan Foster so deeply for his commitment to the fight against cancer. I don't know if you've seen lately our campaign that the American Cancer Society is the official sponsor of birthdays because we help people stay alive, we help them get well. Um, and I don't know if you know that Dan has a milestone birthday coming up next week. So I'm wondering if we could all say happy birthday to Dan. Yeah. miss anybody here. Okay, next, I'd like to have Benny Renzini of Victoria Pizzeria. And Benny, welcome, welcome back. Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, first off, thank you, uh, everybody, for coming down. This is a great thing. Um, Danny asked me a few months back if I was able to do this. I really couldn't commit at that point in time because I didn't know what was going on day to day, but thank God we're okay, and uh, so we came up here. Uh, I'm sure everybody here has had uh, an experience with somebody that has, you know, a loss for someone who had cancer, I believe my father. Six years ago, passed away from cancer. And Danny, at that point in time, had done one of these races in his arms. So, you know what I mean? Uh, it's just something that has to carry on. And uh, it's, a, it's a great cause. And hopefully, one of these days, we don't have to do this anymore. We could do it for something else. But uh, in the meantime, um, just, you know, everybody out here is coming out here to run. 
Everybody out here knows people that have cancer still and are fighting it all the time. And for them, it's just important that they know that they can't give up. Okay? I don't have, I didn't have cancer. I had other stuff. But I never gave up on what I had to do. And, you know, it's just not how hard you hit. It's how hard you can get hit. Just keep moving forward. So everybody, just uh, get in line and uh, have a great time. have done any better. It is a gorgeous day, a day that the Lord has made for everyone, and we should rejoice, oops, rejoice and be glad in it. And so let us pray. Dear gracious God, you are a part of everyone's life. You are a part of this creation. You are a part of Garrison Beach. And today we ask that you keep all of our runners and walkers safe and healthy and that you would not only use our healthy minds and bodies for this day, but also to use the intellect of everyone to cure this horrible disease. There's not a person on the planet that has not been touched by the word of cancer. But thanks to you, we have hope. Hope that one day, not only we will live longer and stronger, but we will also be cancer free. And so, O oh Lord, we ask you to keep on keeping us safe, keeping us healthy, keeping us dedicated to the causes that you would have us do, helping out each other, neighbor helping neighbor, in a land that is full of promise. And so, oh Lord, we ask you for all these things. We ask you to give us the things that we neglect to ask for, and we ask you to do it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, next, I'd like to welcome Nicole Hildago. Did I say that right? I hope. No, I didn't. Okay. Just say Nicole. Okay. Nicole. Okay, she's going to do uh, God Bless America. And if everybody can join in. God bless America. Land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with fog. Is Joe Nixon here? I hope I'm not putting him on the spot. I'm not sure if he's here. Or not. Garrison Beach Marching Band for kicking off today's uh, event. 